Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. And before we begin, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and we are grateful that you have provided your word to us so that we might know you and your son Jesus and your ways to a greater degree than we do already. Lord, we know that you by your Holy Spirit want to teach us those things that you want us to know and the way that you want us to live. So we ask that you would teach us today and we'll give you thanks for doing so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Whatever She Desired. And it's taken from the book of Esther, chapter 2 and verse 13. The time has come. And the huge presentation of fair young maidens has begun. King Ahasuerus desires a new queen, and after twelve long months of beauty treatments, each young lady will appear before the king like a beauty contest for the possibility of winning the grand prize. In chapter 2 and verse 13 of the book of Esther, we see one final preparation that each maiden is given just before they appear. We read, Then thus came every maiden unto the king. Whatsoever she desired was given her to go with her out of the house of the women unto the king's house. The verse begins, Then thus came every maiden unto the king. Whatsoever she desired was given her. Just as each maiden prepared, made her appearance before the king, each was given the opportunity to add to her attire. More than likely, this was jewelry, accessories, and unique clothing that allowed them to differ from one another. Perhaps these articles would enhance a particular part of who they were or how they might be as queen. Whatever it was, it no doubt was one final attempt on their part to obtain the position as queen. We are told why these whatsoevers were given, as our verse continues, to go with her out of the house of the women unto the king's house. These items would be received by the maidens from the house of women and taken to the king's part of the palace with her. In other words, each maiden would gather her whatsoevers, adorn herself with them, and be presented to the king with her choices. What a marvelous beauty show this must have been. Let's consider something together as we ponder this part of our story. If we were to be presented before King Jesus, with what would we desire to be adorned? Would it be fashion, jewelry, fine clothing or accessories? Would it be habits, emotions, quantitative thinking or spiritual practices? Perhaps it might be friends, occupations, hobbies or real estate. What is the whatsoever that we desire to go out from this world, our part of the palace, to go to the King Jesus' house? Now, we must wear it and be presented to the King of Kings. Next time, we'll learn more about the fair young maidens as they are presented to the King. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name. 